what is up guys and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your custom binary counter or flash counter on Galaxy devices. So if you don't know what this is, it's basically a small number that increases every time you flash a custom ROM or root your Galaxy device. This is smart on the part of Samsung because they can reject warranty claims if this number increases. But if you're able to reset it to zero, you should have no problems in sending your phone for warranty claims. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial on how to reset the flash counter to zero. So to reset this binary counter, you're going to need to reboot into download mode in order to see if it has increased or not. So how you do that is by pressing the volume down, the power, and the home button simultaneously after the phone has been switched off. So three, two, one, and there it is. You can click volume up to continue and it will lead you to this. Under the custom binary download option, it should say yes if you flashed a custom ROM onto your phone or if you've rooted the phone and it should say how many counts. So if it's more than zero, that means you can't give your phone in for warranty claim. So once you've checked what the count is, you can reboot your phone normally and you can proceed to download the app Triangle Away into your phone from the Play Store. Links in the description. Once you've downloaded and installed the Triangle Away APK on your phone, it's pretty much a simple process. All you have to do is go open it up and just make sure the model shown on screen is indeed your model. Click continue. The first time you open up the app, it'll ask you for super user permissions and it'll ask you to download external files on your phone. Please allow it to do so as it makes the process a lot easier. So scroll down, click reset flash counter and press continue and the app will do its magic. It'll open up this new recovery mode system and once it does so, all you have to do is press the volume up to reset counter and status. And there, done. That should reset the flash counter and the status. Click the volume up button again to reboot. So bear in mind guys that this doesn't always reset the flash counter to zero and sometimes it remains at one. The app does give you that warning and if you really want to reset it back to zero for warranty claims, all you have to do is go download an official firmware from sammobile.com and flash it onto your phone via the Odin PC tool. Let this reboot. Yeah, there we go. Now let's just check if it has reset the flash counter or not. Awkward silence. There we go. There we go. And click continue. Uh, it says one count here. So if I wanted to reset that, I just go to sammobile.com and flash an official firmware for this phone. But I don't really want to do so as I'm happy with Jellybean 4.3 right now. If you haven't already checked out my previous videos where I talk about Jellybean 4.3, please do so by clicking the links on screen now. If you like this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Anyways guys, that's been it. Peace.